I am, I am the, the humble, humble seer. seer. Hello and welcome to the humble seer. So I'm going to talk Andrew Tate and his brother. And I did a live stream on December 31st of 2022, just a few days ago as I'm recording this video. And I talked a great deal about him. Um, so you may want to check that out. But I'm going to do a reading on Andrew Tate and his brother because he's out in the news a lot. And there's a lot of things going on and a lot of things swirling around his life uh, and his, you know, these things that he's being alleged to have done. But I'm going to talk about the man. And, and you know, I'll spend a little time on these allegations as well. But let's pull a card on, let's pull a card on Andrew Tate. And we'll pull a card on his brother. I don't know what his brother's name is, but his brother is not significant as it relates to this reading. I mean, he's a part of what his brother does, but he's more of like, <laughs> I don't know. I almost want to say Patsy. I don't know why I want to use that word. So this will be Andrew Tate's personality. And this is his brother. So let's start there. Let's, let's learn a little bit about the men, okay? Okay, so Andrew Tate's personality is the Nine of Swords. And nobody wants the Nine of Swords as who they are. Now, this is representative of a few things. Yes, it's representative of him, the man, Andrew Tate. And it's also representative of what he's dealing with. So the Nine of Swords is about anxiety. It's distress, lack of sleep, nightmares, hurt feelings, okay? And that is the person. You know, he's he's bad news as well. He's a negative force out there in the world. He's not positive in any any way, shape, form, or fashion. This is him. This is a representative of him. That's who he is. All of these knives around him because, you know, it's his personality and it's also what he's dealing with currently. But all of these knives that have this person sitting up at night are his demons and the things that he's done to people in the past in the current, and it will definitely be in the present. Because this person is not a good person. They're very negative, irrespective of their, pers you know, what they're projecting out in the world, which I see as negative. I don't see this person as doing positive work and encouraging people, especially young men. I don't see him. I see him in this way, too. Even the bed is crying about him, right? Even the bed has issues with him. Now, his brother, his brother has the judgment card. And that's interesting. Changing of status, life changing, transformation. Now, this is this person's personality. Now, this is a lot of things this card is telling us, okay? The judgment card for his brother. We're going to put that high on the board. Um, now, judgment for his brother is, well, his brother's going to get some judgment handed down on him, and it's it's going to fall on his head. It's going to topple. Things are going to topple on the brother, Andrew Tate's brother's head. Like I was saying earlier about Patsy, you know, he could be the scapegoat for a lot of this. But the brother is, um, as far as his personality or what, you know, who he is, well, his brother has caused great transformation and great judgment on the brother. Andrew Tate views his brother, well, the way the card is played, positioned on the board, he views his brother beneath him. He doesn't, Andrew Tate has no respect for his brother, and he has no real love for his brother. Andrew Tate has no love for anyone except Andrew Tate. He is a very self-absorbed, very selfish uh, individual with low morals, almost no morals. This Andrew Tate person will do anything for fame and fortune, anything. He's willing to do anything. He's willing to be arrested. He's willing to talk about things and go at people that, um, you know, could affect him in an adverse way. And he's willing to do that. He might even be paid to do that. You know, all that you see is not always the truth. All that you see. Sometimes you see productions. Sometimes you see people going, getting arrested just so it hypes up their, um, you know, their standing in the world, who they are. Um, you know, maybe they have 2 million viewers or subscribers. Now they may have 3 million, whatever the case may be. Oftentimes things are staged so that a negative person can continue to give out negativity 
and um, be viewed in a certain light, okay? Now let's take a look at what he's been, uh, you know, charged with. He's an awful person that has done awful things. Awful things. Awful things to women. But I don't see any, I don't see these charges sticking. And I don't know everything that he's, I, I believe he was charged with trafficking. Um, but I see he has problems and he'll continue to have problems, you know, and he's always had problems, but he's the kind of person that doesn't care about his problems. So as it relates to the charges that have been uh, up against him, he's got the two of wands and the two of wands comes in and it says good collaborations, riches, hollow success, but partnerships. Now this is interesting because I was just saying that some things aren't what they seem. Now, how can the charges that he's going up against be the represent, how can this card represent that? Partnerships, good collaborations. Well, as I was getting ready to say, uh, sometimes you, you go in um, into a partnership with uh, organizations, departments, you know, different FBI, the police, whatever. You go into partnerships with them and you do certain like sting operations, like, um, like I say, it's a, it's a, um, uh, it's a partnership and it's a production. It's a production. So let's get a card on the outcome for, now I saw this card as it relates to the outcome. And the Three of Cups is about celebration. It's about celebration. It's about good times. It's about three people raising their cup. Andrew Tate, his brother, and whatever entity that involved themselves with him for this production. That's his outcome. So that's the story on Andrew Tate and his brother. Nasty people, wicked people, as it relates to Andrew Tate. Just an awful, awful human being. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for stopping by The Humble Seer. Please do consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and leave a comment below and tell me what you think about this video. And if you like and appreciate what I do, consider buying me a coffee, and that will be in the description box below this YouTube video. Until next time, you take good care and we'll talk again soon. Bye.